Today, a 12 year old whose life was cut short will be remembered. Zion Charles died last month in a shooting near Atlantic Station. 11 Alive's Karis Belger joining us now from outside of the church where his homecoming service will be held. And Karis, I can't even imagine how tough this day is for the family, but the community too. I mean, hearing these stories of kids dying to violence is so horrible. And we've only heard more and more cries for solutions to that violence since this incident happened. We expect a number of community activists, in addition to Zion's family, to be in attendance at the services that will start at around noon today. Just to give you some more information, Zion was one of two children who was killed in that shooting near Atlantic Station that took place over Thanksgiving weekend. And police have since made two arrests. Since the shooting, there have been vigils and marches from community activists who are asking the city to find more ways to prevent incidents like that shooting from happening. And earlier this week, a few of the concerned black clergy of Metro Atlanta called for solutions like instituting a curfew, a curfew and restricting gun access. If it's true that an eye for an eye leaves everybody blind, then a gun for a gun leads to gun violence epidemic. And if it leads to gun violence epidemic, then it leads to a gun for a gun, meaning everybody will be dead. And after the service, the concerned black clergy of Metro Atlanta will be leading a march to the Capitol to call on more elected officials to make uh, more changes to help prevent more gun violence from happening. That'll be happening later on at 3 p.m. after Zion's funeral services. It's heartbreaking and it has to stop. Karis, thank you. Following the shooting deaths of Zion and 15 year old Cameron Jackson, who was also killed in that same shooting near Atlantic Station last month, the shopping complex is now allowing APD to access its security cameras. We're told this is something that's been in the works for a while as Atlantic Station works with law enforcement to increase safety for shoppers.